be like Vern, use the survival guide. <laughs>back to my channel this week is finals week aka dead week aka is anybody even sleeping week i thought i would take out my notebook and write some ideas about how i study how to keep your sanity during <laughs> finals week and things that the university of michigan does to help during finals week some study spots and some events going on around campus so let's just get started p.s i also don't have my life together so if anyone has any tips and tricks for me please comment and while you're at it like and subscribe thanks whoa <laughs> so the first thing we're going to talk about is how i study and a little disclaimer not everyone studies the same way what works for me may not work for you but i think it takes a lot of time transitioning from high school to college to figure out how to study and so if I can give you my two cents maybe you can take that and modify it to figure out what works best for you so in short I make note cards what I do first is I look at lectures so let's take a look at my lectures so this is what my lectures look like I'm just kidding I wish it was this is what my lectures look like. And so what I do is I take this highlighted topic and I write it on the front. So this is my first note card. Then I write down everything that is under this topic. So I have this slide on the note card, this slide on the note card, this I usually print out, and then this slide is also on the note card. So you've got your note cards written now what? So what you do is you go over all the note cards once through no interruptions. Then you go over it a second time and in that second time you kind of group it into what you definitely know and don't need to go over again to what you are either iffy about, you could benefit from going over it once or you don't know anything about. You put them in two separate piles. I don't pay attention to what's on the I don't need to go over again pile, but I will go over the second pile multiple times. And so each time that I go over it, I continue to separate. So I will then separate that pile into what is iffy versus what I need definitely need to go over again. And so ideally, you'll go over all these note cards until they're back into one pile, and then you can go over it multiple times until your exam. But that is typically not how much time I have when I study because I procrastinate like everyone else. So what I do before the exam, if it's half an hour before the exam and I need to walk over to the building that it's in, I'll take the pile that I need to definitely need to go over again and I'll just take it in hand with me and go over it as I'm on my way to the building. And if I have time before the exam, before they pass out scantrons, I'll continue to go over them as some last minute studying. Hey guys, so this is my roommate. It's like I'm pinching your head. Yeah. Is this what you So like I said before, not everyone studies the same way. What my sweet mate does is she makes her own study guides. And so if you are tech savvy, maybe I like Quizlet, or I don't like Quizlet actually. Maybe I like physical note cards because I'm an old lady inside. But if you are tech savvy, then what she does is she makes a study guide herself. So she'll pull up a Word document and kind of input the same information that I do. And then she'll like print it out and color code. So she will highlight vocabulary in one color and key concepts in another. And then she'll even take a pen and she'll shorthand ways to remember the key concepts or she'll explain to herself what she wrote down in the Word document initially. And I think that's a brilliant way to study. What me and my roommate do sometimes is we explain topics to each other. So this I feel like is the most helpful thing ever. So if you take a concept that you learned in class, something that you find interesting, and you explain it to someone else and have a conversation with them about it, you will remember it. It is so helpful. It's incredible. I highly encourage doing that. So 
after you've already got these tips and tricks to learn how to study, now you need to know how to keep your sanity while studying. Don't procrastinate. Ah, I cannot stress that enough. Make a schedule instead. So if your exam is on Thursday, then say Monday, you're going to go over your lectures, any lectures you missed. Just look at the content so it's not brand new the days that you are studying. Then Tuesday, make your flashcards. You don't have to go over them. You can chill in the morning, chill after that. Just make all your flashcards. Then Wednesday, go over your flashcards. And Thursday, if your exam is at 1 p.m. or if it's at night or something, then wake up early and just go over your flashcards again to make sure they're all up in your noggin. The next key advice is to sleep. Do not pull all-nighters. Don't do it. I don't want to hear it. Don't pull an all-nighter. I am so guilty of pulling all-nighters my first semester here. I had a chemistry exam and I did not understand anything about chemistry, so I stayed up all night to study for it. And same thing with math, actually. So I stayed up plenty of nights during my freshman year, and I promise you it does not help. You will learn a few little details, but not enough to know, understand the subject. So do not procrastinate, get some sleep. I actually had a lecture about sleep deprivation in one of my biopsych lectures. So let me read to you the effects of sleep deprivation. Increased irritability, difficulty in concentrating, episodes of disorientation. Lastly, total sleep deprivation compromises the immune system and leads to death. You will die if you pull all-nighters, procrastinate, and cram for studying. Don't do any of those things. Don't do it. I don't want to hear it. When I say you can not procrastinate, I don't mean, you know, stay in one room, lock yourself in there, and study all night. Well, no, not all night, because I said no sleep deprivation, remember? Study all day and have no fun. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not how it works. So what I mean by that is you can procrastinate for a little bit, but do it in healthy ways. So for example, before studying, me and my best friend will go get bubble tea or we'll go get coffee and we'll bring it back with us so that way we can have something to look forward to when we study. So just treat yourself in little ways like that. Take study breaks. So last year what we did, and I'll insert a clip in a second, is we went sledding. So we were studying up until I think it was 11 o'clock at night or maybe it was midnight. And we just took some sleds and we went sledding and had a blast. So just do things like that. Just stay with your friends, study with your friends, or study by yourself if you can't focus with friends, but then take some time to help each other because ultimately you're all on the same boat. Nobody wants to study. It is a stressful week for everyone, but that doesn't mean that you have to seclude yourself and be not healthy. And lastly, just remember that every day that you spend studying is another day closer to break. I promise it is coming soon. Pain is temporary. GPA is forever. <laughs> so just keep doing it. You can do it. I believe in you. And lastly... <laughs> we're going to talk about how to survive finals week, specifically at U of M. So let's talk about study spots. So... Study spots kind of just depend on the studying environment that you like to be in. If you like it to be dead silent, then the two spots I recommend are the Hatcher Graduate Library and the Law Library. So that place is open until 3 a.m. and it's very, very quiet. So if you like that, that is your place to go to. And also, so since it's only open until 3 a.m., the undergraduate library, which we call the ugly, is open 24 seven and you don't have to move that much to transfer. There is a bridge that connects them both. So you can easily get from one place to the other. So if you are studying in Hatcher and it does close on you, you can just cross the bridge and get to the ugly, no problem, and continue studying there. But if you're not a library person, if libraries aren't your thing, if it feels too focused, then there is the union. So there is a spot in the union upstairs where it has it kind of looks like a library, but it feels way more chillaxed. Um, there aren't a lot of spaces to study in, in that, like there aren't a lot of seats in that room, but if you get there early and nobody's there, then I think it's a great place to study. Um, where I usually study in the Union is the tap room though, and it's downstairs, so it's down by the basement past the subway. I'll get to the food in a second, but it's past the subway, and 
It's also kind of like a mini library, but it's way more chillax. It just has booths and seats and you can just study there. Another thing that I like about the Union is that it has food in the basement by the tap room. So we have like Subway, Panda Express, Wendy's, other restaurants like that. And you can easily just order and sit down and study by yourself as well. Another thing about the Union is that it has social event events like U-mixes. So the university puts on these things during finals week and throughout the year where people can go upstairs and just chill. So they have different themes. They have you know, free yoga and meditation during finals week. They have um, showing movies. So study downstairs and then come up for a break and treat yourself to some relaxation. Speaking of the library though, The Ugly always has this event called Dogs in the Library and they are the cutest thing. So we have therapy dogs every final season where they just kind of chill in the library for a couple hours and you can just go around and pet them. And it is my favorite thing in the world. I hate finals, but I look forward to them every time because there are dogs. So I highly recommend if you are studying in the ugly you can just easily go downstairs or if you're studying in your dorm take some time and go with your friends and just pet some puppies they're really cute so my last recommendation of places to study is right in your own dorm so each dorm has a couple of rooms where you can study so you can either reserve them or they're just open spaces where there's tables where you can stay at each dorm also holds its own events to kick off final season and so they'll have different ways for you to take study breaks. So for example, you can frost your own cookies, you can make your own snow globe, make your own stress balls. Each dorm has its own thing and you're never confined to your own dorm. So if you know that there is one across the campus where your friend lives, you can go with them and just to have fun and take a study break and that's what I love about the university is it has so many things to do to de-stress it really helps you it encourages you to do your best and I just find that so helpful so I wanted to only use natural lighting for this video but I did not record fast enough so I'm really sorry about the change of setting I'm just gonna cut the video off here with some final notes I know the university holds way more events than I talked about just keep your ears open and there's some flyers around campus where you can easily find events going on so what did we learn from my video one we learned to schedule some time in for mental breaks surround yourself with friends Remember, you are way more important and are way more valuable than just a letter or a number on a test score, okay? So you are better than that. Four, do not procrastinate, you will die. Five, do not cram. Six, get some sleep. <laughs> simple things, simple things. Just remember all those. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope something was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>